presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and you YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> 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 Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You have many, you have many great ideas in your head. But without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 224, NASDAQ off 83, S&P's off 28. Gold, gold contract up $39.40 trading at 2,039 an ounce. You get silver up $1.13, $25.16 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $80.46 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note. Up 24 ticks, trading 116.06. The 30 year up a full point, plus three ticks at 133.01 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 519 ticks, trading 101.573. The euro is at 109. The yen is at 131. The British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at them. Okay, so. There we go. You have the, we got the SPY up to 411.92. Now the high of yesterday was 411.37. So if we close here, well actually you need to close under 407.45. Like if we close right here, you know, that's still saying that this high that was generated out here, you know, a couple months ago would still be game, meaning the 418. You know, because what's happening here, yeah, you went over the high, but you're coming into this high volume that the volume we're coming into is 112 million. Uh, the price point there was 409.70 at the top. Uh, so particularly if we have a close like above that, well, then that's totally a rejection of lower price. But right now, you know, this is still saying that high is game. We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues. Where the queues are set up is... The high today is 321.63, which got over that high. You're going to close underneath it, and you're going to have lighter volume. Now, the Qs, in order to get to lower price, they'll have to get back inside the 313. And right now, we're at 318. So that bottom line, that's still saying the Qs can go a lot higher. Gold. We got the gold contract and a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Gold is taken out. It's B point, taking it out with volume. It's a 201 A to B. Now, something to remember about gold, folks, okay, is that gold loves doing a 1 to 1.382 or a 1 to 1.50 ABC up and or down. You know, bottom line, we're taking it out. Just taking it out good. And, you know, 2031 two was the B point on this. Uh, if you go to the GLD, you're going to see the same thing. You take, you're taking it out with volume. You can see that the high of the GLD there was uh, 11 million. You're 11.3 11 11 million. We're 11.59 right now. And the way, and then if we go to the GDX, you're going to see the same thing. The, G, the GDX, we take a look at this GDX, and we just see what the GDX, you're taking the, you're taking the swing point out. The swing point there had 21 million, and we've done 27 million already. And if, if you take the GDX and you take a look at it, this is an ABC up. 
right to the, the last high that was up there. That last high that was generated out there, the 41. This, this is an ABC up to about 39, so I suspect it's going to get into this uh, 41. You'll get some flack at about that 46. You can see that, that heavy volume there coming down. And I suspect what this is about. Check this out. So we've been talking about, you know, I think rates have topped out. And this is kind of showing that bottom line is that the market's looking at, let's put it this way, that you get rates that are topping out. And, you know, you can see this bond market's going right to the highs again. We have a 10-year right now that is yielding 3 point, look at this, man, 3.3. 3.3. And we're just at four. <laughs> that's, that's about as intense as you can get. Okay, that's three months. Look at this six months, man. This is a trip. Yeah, so see, even six months, we were at 3.3 six months ago. And a year, okay, so a year ago we were 2.3, but six months ago we were 3.3. And the high has been four, actually the high has been 4.2 in the last year. So 3.3, we're, we're almost off one full percentage. And now over to the dollar because you know, the markets are down today, but it looks like the, the markets are actually pricing in, saying the same type of deal that, you know, we'll see if this dollar holds this, uh, the, the bottom of its strength, how it come off that low, folks, is 101.566. Now, what happened is that we went down to the 101.459, but it doesn't look like it can move. We're at 101.540. So if we do break this, let's go take a look at this. Okay, so bring this back. So that's the range. Well, if we break this area, well, 100 is next. But if we get into if we get into 100.300, then you know, guess what? Then it's game all the way down to what is that? 88. It's game to 88, and that's when you would see <laughs> those commodities to go to the moon, man. But that's, that's how this is set up. It's not in this lower range yet, because the lower range, you know, we've had, we had a couple spikes up there, but the low, I would say the lower range starts at about 100.390. Putting those lines together right there, you know, that's where I'd say the lower, you get into that lower range, and guess what? You are gonna, <clears throat> see, now what's intriguing about that is that <clears throat> we get down to that level, if the dollar's gonna go there, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the broad market, you know, because the fact of the matter is normally a weaker dollar would give you a rising market. But guess what? Dynamics always change. That's, that's the bottom line. They do, they do. And we'll see if that's the case. We go into the uh, silver market. We take a look at silver. Silver right now is 76,000 contracts. 29, 24, 24.94 is the high. It's taking it out and it's taking it out with conviction. Pretty cool. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 213. You get the NASDAQ off 86. S&Ps are down 28. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, there's a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, and you're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side. Just hit that subscribe button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 10 to 11 archives out there. You really get to understand the Chapman wave and how Basil rides that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on is, if you remember last week, I was looking positively and say that we've been adding to our long position in the Dow uh, three times long. And, but all of a sudden here, wait, let me show you something. First of all, for those people who are not used to my work, let me show you uh, the Chapman wave methodology. The core is that we try to identify the low bar. We've been very fortunate we've been able to pick lows for a long time uh, and most of the key uh, low points in the Dow. But this particular one, uh, when I look at the uh, the waveform, when you get to the, the uh, fourth highest peak, peak D, that's when you've got to be cautious. And we are looking at in the Dow, we're in leg C. Today we made a fraction of your high before we pull back. Quite sharp, you know, sharp as the big game yesterday. So this is still leg C. This is the daily chart. The weekly chart is still within this uh, rectangle formation. And the monthly chart has this uh, downtrend line. I call this the falling axis. It looks like a declining cone pattern to break out of. But if you look at the S&P, and the reason why I'm a bit cautious is that when we get to a peak D or E in the Chapman methodology, yes, you can go higher, but that's when I get kind of that's where I'm anticipating that there could be some kind of a pullback. So if you look at the S&P, it's in leg D. So it's already accomplished what I call the buy signal upgrade to a buy mode, which says you should go to at least a peak, not you, but the, the price that we're following should go to at least a D. We made the D in the weekly chart. Look at that nice cup formation. And we're going towards the top. The uh, nine period in the weekly chart is still very, the nine period moving average is above the 14. The bank D is good. Stochastic's kind of weak. 
And the monthly chart here as well, you can see we're bumping into this trend line that says you've got to break out of that decisively to start improving that monthly chart. Then we get to the QQQ, one to three, there we go. This is the NDX uh, 100 trading vehicle, the uh, Invesco QQQ Trust Series. You can see looking at the monthly chart, it's actually a little bit better. It's making a nice arch formation, but it's just bumping into resistance. You can see in the weekly chart, it today made that leg D. So I was saying to subscribers, we want to be a little careful. We're not going to add. We've had some very nice positions. We've taken a little bit off to take profits. And I got a little bit, little bit cautious here because once we get to this D, um, I have to analyze and see how the market appreciates uh, the technicals. If they're improving, that's a very good sign. And, and to tell you the truth, the stochastic, which I look at for a long time, and if you look at any, any technical a textbook, it'll say over 80% is overbought and under 20% is oversold. The, the implication always is that if it's overbought, that means it must get underbought, right? I say, no, no, no. Over 80% is good. Over 90% is really good. Over 95% is fabulous. That's what you're looking for. So I don't have any signals right now to say that there should be a market turned down. But this is where I start to look at things a lot more carefully and become a little bit more cautious. Um, I do like this 96% uh, in the uh, stochastic in the QQQ. And if you look at the SMHs, you and I talk about this for years now, how the SMHs tend to beat the market up or down. And I always think of the semiconductor, the chips, as the oil of the, of the 1900s that, that really fed the great economic growth through the uh, 1900s, the 20th century. Now we've got the chips and they basically the same sort of thing. So they are commoditized, but they are stalling here. If you look at the monthly chart, they're still way underneath the 318 a high that was made in January of last year. And they dropped all the way down to 161. Now they've had a very good gain to 257. And all the technicals are still very good. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, what are you going to do to change that, and I'll just give you numbers. For instance, the SMHs, the semiconductors, if they start to trade next week under 250, I'd actually like to say under 247, that says, uh-oh, trend change. That means you're probably going to get the QQQ trading underneath at this point there at 318. If they go, if they start trading under 309, that's not very good. And the S&P, um, I'm going to give you the level of, it's already done in this particular pattern that I talk about, this expanding cone formation, this declining cone, I call it the falling X, because if it breaks out to the upside, it can go one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. So it's done, not the one-to-one -one yet, but it's done a very nice expansion in the same degree with the same number of bars. So if the S&P suddenly stalls and it starts to trade under, uh, I'd say, 39.92, that's going to be that's going to be a sign to say, uh oh, got a problem in the Dow. I'll give you the Dow number at this particular point. The Dow should go to a leg D. It's in leg C. It should have a pullback to to make that peak D, peak C, so that there's no new high to make that peak C. Pulls back and then it breaks that peak C for leg D. So that says this got a little bit further to go, but at any point, if it takes out the uh, thirty-two thousand six hundred level. That's going to be a problem. So those are the those are the things to look for on the downside. But in the meantime, as I say, the technicals are actually pretty good in most of the indices, and I'm following it. In, I'm just following it pretty technically based on the Chapman Wade methodology. And so far, we still remain long. And of course, we have a holiday week happening, right? And it's a shortened week, so we, that means we wrap up Thursday, and that means if you get a down day tomorrow with no new high in, in the Dow, and then Thursday you pop up, it says who. Be a little careful opening up the following week, the week of the 10th. But so far, as I say, I've got to wait for those things to unfold. I don't want to over-anticipate. Although, as I said, we've already got leg D in the in the, in the uh, NDX 100, the QQQ, and we've already got leg E in the S&P. So what but, do you think um, about these rates? You know, it's so interesting. The, I'm... I was going to ask you this question last week, and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll wait, but you've just asked me. I was going to say to you, is there any chance, and I'm just throwing this out, I haven't really got an answer, is there any chance that the market, you know how the market takes a particular issue and then starts to, it, it's very important, then it pushes it aside? So my question to you is, do you think that there's any chance that 
this market could continue holding very well. It doesn't have to break to the upside, it doesn't have to break to the downside, but holding very well, anticipating um, that, well, anticipating that it's getting used to the higher rates. Because, I mean, once the rates start to go up, um, that, that's a problem. But I'm looking at uh, many things that say uh, there should be some sideways movement in the TLT. You can see the TLT right here. It's, look at this. This is the rectangle in the weekly chart. So I've kind of dismissed rates for the moment. But So the, the question to you is, do you think the market could handle just uh, the issue that rates could go higher or not? Yeah, no, I, I think the rates have topped myself. I think, because they look, they stable. Yeah, I the think they're top. Chart. Yeah. Hey, happy uh, Passover. And a happy Easter to you. Big time. And we look Have forward to the show tomorrow, weekend. Basil. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Oh, welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow Industrials down 245. Nasdaq's off 95. S&P's off 32. So let's take a look at some of these goals because we were talking yesterday. We had some divergence. You know, even in the gold report, we had a couple ABC structures up, uh, but a lot of them weren't. Uh, that's getting straightened out today, that's for sure. So what do you have? A, a, an Eco Eagle, ABC up. You know, B point on this is 52, A point is 44. So you get eight bucks, which gets you 58. Right now you're at 55, that swing point's 58. So that's going to the high out there. Newmont, which has been the dog, okay? Bottom line, ABC up also. We take a look at Newmont, bottom line. You're taking a B point out of uh, 49. That's about a 6.8 A to B. Gets you 51. We're already at 51. This 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 will still build cause. That'll get up into that high out here. Let's go take a look at. Uh, well, you got uh, these these ones. Alamos was already an ABC up. 
This had already taken out a, a big swing point. Okay, took it out with volume. You're at 1290 now. This one here. Yeah, this is one of the strongest ones. We actually we own this one too. Let me just look at this one. Okay, so now this has launched everything, which is pretty cool. Okay, so this is at a much larger ABC up. 11.50. Yeah, you get seven. This is well, no, this is 13, 14 dollars. This is what's going to happen here. You know, we're 12.90. You can, ice is laying out here at 13.50. You get, if you get by 13.50, then you got game up to that 21 area. Uh, we go take a look at uh, El Dorado. That was already in an ABC up. This is up another 19 cents today. Put this on. Yeah, this is on its this is on its way up to. This is a big one. Nine. Yeah, it's like ten. Well, four fifty. What you get to twelve fifty? What's that swing? This is so wild. So, folks, you can see. So this is an ABC up to twelve fifty too, and you can see all of these. It's, it's really wild how. When you get ABC structures, many times they, they're, the, the price projection is to the next swing point. That's, that's exactly what this is. And you can see how this, you know, bottom line three weeks ago went into the B point, went in with volume, nice volume, accelerated up. Um, what else do we have out here? You had, and what we did have this week is that you had yesterday, so the last day of the trade with um, Yamana was last Friday. And, okay, so now Pan American still was not going to be an ABC up. It's coming up to its highs, but you can see you don't have enough juice here. Yeah, no, we need, you need 7.3 million. So let's take a look at this first on a weekly then. Yeah, it's not going to have it on the weekly either. So, you know, it's intriguing about this. So, pitch this. Pan American Silver got some of the silver mines off Yamana, right? And... An Eco Eagle, the, the, the market's saying an Eco Eagle got the better deal, because look at this. An Eco Eagle's the ABC up. That's, that's how that shakes out. It can, it's pretty clear. There's, there's no doubt that it's pretty clear. Uh, we go to the GDX, and the GDX also is going to be an ABC up, and that's, uh, this is on the weekly now. Take a look, look at the weekly. And you're going to see it. You're taking out that swing point today. Um, it's going to need 104 million on the weekly. We get 61 million right now. That's going to be pretty easy. That's really going to be easy. Um, and that's going to bring you up to that next swing high. Now, now let's go do a generic on the gold contract because I think this is all about rates, by the way, folks. That's what it looks and looking to me. I mean, I was I was looking for this to get back to where the last volume was but it looks to me now these rates want to go lower and this is going to this is going to blow everything up meaning so if we take the generic contract inside gold yeah the larger one's still in place here see that what happens is this you have you have the much larger one. Watch this. This is pretty cool. When this, when I just take the very lows to the very highs, you're going to see, I believe it was a 618 retracement. Oh, it was a 5.0. It was only a 5.0. So the larger ABC up on a long period of time is, I think it's 2,500. But as I said a little bit earlier, what ends up happening, that's only a one-to-one. -one. So this would be 1,754 minus... 252 or something, 254. That's a 1500 A to B. Yeah, plus the 1,046. That gets you 2546. That's a 2546 in a one to one ABC structure. Now let's go over and go look at the rate structure. So I'm going to put this on a generic ch chart also. Because it's real possible that the 10-year right now is setting up an ABC structure on the way up. And what we can see here is that we got down to 
the 108 level would have to get back inside realistically yeah you'd have to get back inside this 11727 if you get back inside 11727 inside the 10 hey that's saying that you know what bottom line is that uh that might be the end of the rate cycle you know that's how that's how it's looking to me and you know i'll go for the current one right now And when you take a look at the, the, the current contract, you know, we, we came off those lows with conviction. And of course, yeah, we know we have a bank interest crisis, you know, but technically that's set up. And then fundamentally, folks, the bottom line is that, yeah, the Fed, my take is that the Fed had to go a quarter point the last time just to save face. And particularly after um, Lagarde had already gone um, half a point, you know, they had to go a quarter point. But... I say that's it, because the fact of the matter is there's still huge amounts of losses on banks' books, and the higher that the rate structure goes and they, they fire the rate structure up, the Fed knows that, well, the more they're going to lose. So what has happened since the lows is that compared to where those trades were at the lows, uh, what, only 10 days ago, I believe, compared to where they are now, this has changed, you know, so their balance sheets are actually getting straightened out because, yeah, the 10-year was at 110, now it's at 116. You know, as that goes up, the impairment of the balance sheet also gets straightened out, you know? Um, so my take is that these rates have peaked out. And if the rates peak out, uh, that dollar will probably break its lows. If the, if the dollar breaks its lows in the next few days, gold keeps going, that, that's telling, that's more evidence that the rates have peaked out. And if the rates peak out, then guess what? Anything that you have to lend money again, it, it, the same thing with the, it's amazing too. If we look at Lenar, you know, a couple of these, they've held up, man. You know, so we'll see where it shakes out. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial right now. We're down 259. Nasdaq's off 97. S&P's off 35. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrial is down 238. Nasdaq's off 89. S&Ps are off uh, 31. And, uh, yeah, let's go take a look at this TLT also. So the TLT is the 20 or plus. Yeah, well, this one's higher price, man. I mean, look at that spike up there. That's on the daily. The weeklies are there too. Yeah, I mean, look at this. So this is, you know, you gotta remember what this is. It's, it's they're 30 year bonds basically, but they have 20 plus years left on them. So this high volume spike right here, 109, that's gonna get tested. You blow that away, you're in business, man. That's how this is set up. So this is going to get really intriguing. The thing that's amazing to me is that, you know, there is, it doesn't, it doesn't mean, so, so what happens is this. Here, check this out, folks. Okay, so I'm going to bring up the Fed, right? So right now, we are at 4.75 to 5, okay? That's, that's the range. And the market, okay, now this is the overnight, right? Right? Okay. Now we, we we now we go back to the market. The market is going to force the Fed the, the Fed's hand to go lower, because it really doesn't matter. What, what really matters is what you're looking at right here in the screen, which is a 3.34. Because we have nothing to do unless you unless you own a bank. Okay, that's a bank rate, but this is the number that you want to keep your eye on, the 3.34. And you can see, you know, it was four you know, a few weeks ago. So this to me is saying that, guess what? This, the market is basically driving down the rates. And once that the market really gets onto it, the amount of money that could actually be made, if, if I'm correct in the assessment that the rates have topped, is, oh, it's huge, man. I mean, because the leverage inside the bond market is unbelievable. I mean, do you want to see something? Well, I mean, look at this. This is, I'm not even talking about the option on the future, but you can see this right here. Just to carry 100K is only 2,400 bucks. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Then, watch this. <laughs> then you can go into the options on the bonds. <laughs> now, the, don't go doing this, folks, okay? But the bottom line is that you can is, see the action out here? See the, the, see the volumes out here? These are big volumes, man. There's people are coming into them right now, man. That's that's the bottom line. And you can see so the top is the price right now, 11506, right? As you as you're going down here, you can see this fourth now this is just today's contracts. 115s, 4,000, 1900, 6,000 contracts, 116 flat, 10,000 contracts, you know. Um, and you talk about leverage and in that particular case, the cool thing is is that you only can lose what is in the option, okay? That, that's, that's the bottom line. But you get the gist of it. And I suspect, you know, what, what's gonna be intriguing is that how does the broad market look at it? That, that's, that's the real number. Nova Gold earnings, huh? NG, let's see. 
Then G, I don't know, M. I never knew Nova Gold actually. What is Nova Gold? Nova Gold. Nova Gold, Nova Gold. This is so weird, it's not coming up. NG, that's what I thought. One second. What's wrong with this? That is so weird. I'm not getting it. I don't know. That is strange. Yeah, it's not coming up for me. Neither that or Nova Gold. Weird. Yep, I don't know. I, I, that, that is really strange that's not coming up at all. Nova Gold, One World. No, okay, let's do it that way. There we go. There we go. Thanks, Dan. Okay, and that's so weird. NG, was it? It just didn't pop up. Okay, so let's take a look at Nova Gold. Yeah, no, they, they still, they might have the earnings there, but they're not going to have earnings. They don't make any money. Nova Gold doesn't make any money. They, this is a project that's going to take another 15 years. <laughs> you know, I don't know exactly how long, but it's, it's going to be like years and years and years and years. Yeah. You know, what happened is that, you know, we used to do a lot of business with Nova Gold. And I remember specifically what ended up happening is that they sent all the equipment up there and they thought it was going to be a lot easier than it, it was. And I, I'm, going, I'm going back like 15 years. And then all the, all the equipment rotted because of the well, all the tires did, okay? Because of the fact it's been up there so long. So, you know, this is a whole that's a this is a whole different play. If they get if Nova Gold gets done what they think they're going to get done, um, it will be phenomenal. There's no doubt about that. Okay, it's one of the largest copper and gold deals, but they have a long way to go. Um, you know, I, I learned quite a bit <laughs> on that 15 years ago. Um, you know, and what ended up happening is that um, now there's other people that are involved, but it's still a very, it's, it's a high risk, high reward deal. That's, that's the bottom line. That's what it comes down to. 877-927-6648, some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's take a look at them. Oh yeah, one of the Jeep, one of the, the AI stocks are blowing up out here today. Um, this is down, so the symbol's AI, and this baby here, so it's down eight, eight and a half dollars, trading 24, and I'm not sure who come out. Let's see who come out with, let's see if they get any revenue first off. Yeah, they get revenue. They lose money, but they have revenue. So someone came out with accounting issues. Let's see, so, Kirsteel Capital alleged serious accounting and disclosure issues at the enterprise software developer. The company used highly aggressive accounting to inflate its income statement metrics in order to meet sell-side analyst estimates for revenue and certain profit metrics. We're getting a lot of these lately, man. <laughs> and that, that's what does happen on pullbacks, folks. Uh, it, bottom line is that, on, you know, when, when you get markets that are not a full... Well, my take is we're in a bear market. Uh, that's exactly what happens. They seem to come out of nowhere, and they come out on a continual basis. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 220. You get the Nasdaq off 84. S&P's down 29. Gold's up uh, almost 40 bucks. You get silver up uh, 115. The silver is taking out the top of its uh, range also. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 201. That's 6 off uh, 76. S&P's down 26. So let's go take a look at the SPY here and see what we have. So... You get 58 million, they're coming into 112, it's not enough, man. Yeah, this, this looks to me that this is still wants to go up to this high, yeah. yeah. You pull back a bit, you're gonna have light volume, the high is still game, especially on a holiday week. We take a look at the cues. Cues out here, so this is almost like a sideways move in the cues, actually. You know, you're going into this uh, Friday, which is 62 million, you get 40 million. Yeah. That doesn't look to me like it's done yet. Not yet. And, you know, holiday weeks, this is where they can spin these around, there's no doubt. Silver, let's go look at that silver market. So, silver. Okay, so it's taken out. Oh, excuse me, folks. It's taken out a swing. S I 1. Let me get the generic one. Put this. Okay, cool. Yeah, silver's on its way at 27 bucks. Get this back further. Same number, I think. Yeah. 
Silver's on its way to 30 bucks, man. That's the top of the range here. We just took out, we just took out the top of the range out of the 24.75. You know, you, you, you have some good conviction here. And let me just look at this for a second. Yeah, it won't be an ABC up because we did more than a 0.618 retracement on the way down. But commodities, keep your eye on them, man, because the dollar looks like it wants to break that low. So it's going to be really intriguing if that's what we get. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks off, 9 a.m. Great show. Look at him, folks. <laughs>